Hello, Mama Llamas. Grab your iced coffee and a warm blanket because you're watching the <laughs> you're watching Disney Channel. Not just kidding. I played you. This is the 100 Baby Challenge. Uh, if, if you thought this was Disney Channel, boy, do I have a freaking surprise for you. And you know, I bet Layla wishes this was fucking Disney Channel right now. She <laughs> she's gonna drink a bar. She's like, oh, I am not ready to take care of these children. But yeah, welcome back, guys. And what better way to start off the episode than a crying child? And not just, not just any child, by the way, a Sims 4 child, a Sims 4 baby, you know, the, you know, objects. But anyways, we're going to stop drinking and take care of this uh, crotch monster. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's so terrible. I don't hate kids. I swear. I don't. I promise. See? Ducky agrees. But yeah, guys, welcome back to another episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. If you missed it, in the last episode, we did give birth to our two first babies, so Damien and Georgia. The names were suggested by Julie in my comments, so thank you, Julie. I love you. I appreciate you. You're the bomb diggity, and that's the tea. Also, look at Layla in her new rocking chair. <laughs> Super cute. I love the new rocking chair aspect of Nifty Ninnings. One of my favorite parts of the pack. But we got Ducky here keeping watch as per usual. You know, Ducky is just the goodest girl. Like, look, look at her little eyes. She is, oh my God. Moments like these is when I wish I had an Afghan hound in person because they are freaking beautiful. But anyways, so I say this with all due respect, uh, we are broke as hell. Normally, I wouldn't mind not having a lot of money in my regular games because, you know, I like my Sims to struggle a little bit, but I don't want to live in this house forever. I definitely want to make some more renovations and maybe do an upstairs or or a basement. That's something that's on my list, <laughs> my wish list, my wish list right now. So, but the thing is, I don't think woodworking is going to get us anywhere. I don't think knitting is going to get us anywhere. And the only logical thing I know to do is painting or writing. But I feel like that's like everybody's, you know, source of income for the 100 baby challenge. But like, I'm starting to think that, you know, there's a reason for that. So if you guys know of any like alternative ways to make money, like good, decent money besides writing and painting, painting let me know but that probably will be our only option for now because I did want her to do music and make her own music tracks but I mean you know you gotta do what you gotta do but I don't know if you guys saw the text that we got like two seconds ago but you know dead Emilio uh texted us and said congratulations on the new addition to the family and that just kind of broke my heart like you know I know he's happy for her in the clouds but Oh yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of her just thinking about what could have been and, you know, Georgia and Damien could have definitely belonged to Emilio, but, you know, I mean, it is what it is. She's not, I think she's starting to get rid of that guilty feeling, but I don't know. I feel like it's kind of persistent. But anyways, before I get too carried away tonight, I did want to go and go on a date with Mr. Salim because who gave him the freaking audacity to look this fine? Like, tell me. Tell me. Layla finished uh, two beanies, which I think we're going to give this one to uh, Georgia. But let's go ahead and see if we can list this one on Plopsy. So how much? How much are we getting from this? See, yeah, that's that's not that's not going to cut it. But anyways, yes, date with Salim tonight. Want to get pregnant again because he is fine as crap. I also definitely felt... Uh, a little bit of chemistry with her and Salim for whatever reason. I don't know. They just kind of click together. So I definitely think that they should go on a date and not just, you know, hook up. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to go ahead. Actually, right. So we don't have a romantic relationship with Salim. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's see if we can invite him over and then kind of get a relationship going and then ask him out on a date. I feel like that would be the best way to do it. And I'm not sure where we would go, but Night on the Town does say that we can get uh, free food so maybe we should go out to a restaurant or something kind of pick up a little bite to eat you know she hasn't been on a date since she was with Emilio and that was what like a year and a half or two years ago so you know I think she's ready I think she's ready which she's making food right now girl I know you're hungry I'm sorry but did Salim say he was gonna come over yes he did Okay, so no, 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 we're not eating. Sis, we are not eating. We're waiting for Salim. Right, he's here, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, he's sad. I wonder why. Let's try to cheer him up. Um, no, he didn't like that, so he's just 
Well, actually he did. Okay, all right, he liked it. So let's go ahead. I think we have a good enough relationship bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, compliment his appearance and then hit him with a bold pickup line, like roses are red, violets are blue. What it do, baby boo? <laughs> but yes, I think he did like it. He's also feeling pretty flirty, which uh, <laughs> Ducky fell asleep in her own pile of shit. That's, that's a mood. All right, don't pee yet, girl. Go ahead and flirt with him. Let's see, go ahead and flirt. And what else, what else, what else? Let's, uh, uh, confess our attraction. Okay, so we have enough romantic relationships, so we're gonna go ahead and ask him on a date, and I don't know where we wanna eat exactly, but I know Lil Sumzy in her save made a lot of awesome, awesome restaurants, so I'm super excited to try them out. I also feel kind of bad that we're leaving the babies, but it's like, you know, they <laughs> they serve no purpose. Like, they're gonna grow up, and then, you know, when they're toddlers, we have to fixate on their skills, but for now, I don't think we have to, so I'm definitely feeling bread six right now. I'm assuming it's Italian, which I am actually very in the mood for Italian right now. So this should be interesting. I definitely think Layla is ready to start dating again, but who knows? Maybe it'll backfire. I have no idea. But you guys, we made it to Breadsticks here in Newcrest and her and Salim are just kind of chilling right here, sitting before they get their table. I think they're just waiting on their table because it is just a little crowded, just a little bit. So I can see why they would be waiting. But I think our table is ready. So we're going to go ahead and get this table. Actually, no, I kind of want to get this one because it's, you know, a little bit secluded. But yes, it is night out on the town if you guys saw that earlier. So we will be able to get free food and drinks. So hell yeah. Because like I said, we are broke as hell. But oh my god, he switched into his suit. What a man. He I swear, a man of taste. The only thing I'm going to say is those shoes don't match, which definitely feel like his charm makes up for it. At least for Layla, um, I think she really likes him a lot. But okay, so we got our table. So it's getting late right now, so I'm not gonna waste any time. I definitely wanna order right now for the two of them. So let's see. Okay, so I want to give Layla definitely a Sims Metropolitan. I'm feeling that. And I feel like Salim would get a beer, but since there's not a beer, I'm gonna go ahead and get him a sweet and spicy. I think we're gonna skip the appetizers for now and go to the main course. So definitely feel like Layla's a chicken girl. <laughs> You, you know what I mean? And then for Salim, let's go ahead and do the herb crusted salmon. Okay, that's it. And it's all zero dollars, which is awesome. So I definitely feel like Salim really likes her. Are you hot girl? She's over here sweating. She's like, oh damn, <laughs> this man. But I do know if you get a gold here for the date event, you do get like a vase of flowers, I think. Or no, it's like uh, it had like a bottle of wine in it or something. So we can definitely sell that. So we're gonna go ahead and flirt with him you know see what he's up to compliment his appearance um it says deep conversation so we're gonna do that too she's like you know i really appreciate uh you going out with me because i haven't been out in a very long time my husband died about two years ago and i don't know if i'm coming on too strong but i just want to let you know that i do appreciate you for treating me out to a night of dinner which is so sweet and our food came out so soon which is literally a surprise because whenever i go out to eat in my other game it takes like fucking five sim hours to get my food but oh, look at her sweet face she is so excited to be out and actually happy you know what i mean like she is so glad and like the way salim looks at her i'm sorry i know like the 100 baby challenge you know no strings attached no feelings attached you give me a baby and we're done but like I am really seeing these two like having a connection. Let me know what you guys think too, because damn, the way he looks at her, I am mm, sparks, sparks. But I'm gonna go ahead and finally let them dig in and you know, just kind of chat and get to know each other. So he's like, what were you planning on doing after this? And she was like, well, if you wanted to come to my house, I wouldn't mind. He's like, oh, fuck yeah. Also, if you guys hear any commotion in the background, it's raining, it is pouring cats and dogs, so that's why, but um, you know what? Let's go ahead and ask Salim if he wants kids because, you know, he do <laughs> he doesn't really have a choice, but, you know, <laughs> better be polite. I'm open to the idea of having kids good because you don't have a choice, <laughs> but let's discuss the food <laughs> let's discuss the food flavors what else uh enthuse about the meal and just discuss the flavors again so we can get a three out of three for um the 
gold event. But uh, I love just how naturally they are able to talk. Like the chemistry is real, but um, looks like he drank all of his drink, but not all of the salmon, which that salmon looks really freaking good. Do you guys like fish? You know, I've always liked fish, but oh wait, no, he's eating it. Okay, never mind. It says kiss your date right here. And I am gonna take that chance, you know, once we're all done and everything, but I want her to eat the rest of her grilled chicken. You know, get the most out of our meal. It's one o'clock, you know, I hope the babies are doing okay. <laughs> I think they're fine but she is feeling very passionate. What else? Any other moodlets that we can look at? We got this one, welcoming a life. So Layla will always remember the birth of her child. See, I know <laughs> I keep talking crap about the kids, but that's just me joking. I feel like she really, really loves her little babies. You know, they mean the world to her and no matter how much they cry or poop <laughs> or eat or throw up, you know, she's always wanted kids, so I definitely feel happy for her that her dream is going to come true. And I actually want to add Mr. Salim to a group. Oh, we're already in the group. Okay, so we need to, uh, let's see, can we pay for our bill? Oh, wait, we don't need to. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and give up the table, and then I do kind of want to take him out. It's raining right now, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and take him out on the street. Uh, let's go, like, right here, where it's kind of, like, secluded. Oh, we can play in the rain too, but shower in the rain. Holy shit. I mean, Layla, if you know, if you're into that, honey, go ahead. But definitely feel like Salim knows what the heck is going to happen and he doesn't mind. So let's go ahead. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Where are you going? We ain't done with you yet. First kiss. Yes. And I love how we haven't even exchanged numbers. That's that's kind of important. Also, she's getting sick. No, honey. Oh, she's feverish. And what is this? Don't ever grow up. Oh, oh she's still thinking about her kids, even when she's like with other men. That I love that about her. But oh, so cute. I love them together. You know, I thought that I liked Messiah. And you know, I do. But something about Salim and her just, mm, it gets to me. But Okay, we're gonna go ahead and end the date, and then I do wanna take him home. So let's go ahead and travel back home. Like, I'm getting lucky. <laughs> Salim was running away, he was like, oh shit. So we are back home, it's 3 a.m., and before we do, you know, <laughs> the hanky-panky, we're gonna go ahead and feed our children because that is our top priority right now. Um, definitely to Layla, at least. But we wanna go ahead and add Salim to a group so he doesn't leave. Actually, okay, let's go ahead and ask him to spend the night first so he does not leave, and then we can go ahead and get pregnant once again, which yay for us. Okay, wait, so I guess they didn't want. Let's go ahead and cuddle and then change their dirty diaper. Okay, so Liam agreed to stay over, so yes, Lord. But see, like I said, she she loves her little babies. I'm always joking, you know? <laughs> you know, it's just jokes. I think I'm just, just a tiny bit nervous about how many babies are going to be in our household, but at the same time, Ducky is taking up a slot, so I know it won't be that crazy. But are the babies happy now? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try for a baby with Salim. And he's helping himself to a fruit salad, which we just had dinner, so I have no idea why you're eating fruit salad. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and clean up. Ooh, we need to feed Ducky too. Totally forgot. I'm so sorry, Ducky. Okay, they're gonna go ahead and get busy with it. And you know what? I kind of don't like this right here. I really don't. I kind of want to put it somewhere else, you know, not next to the bed. Actually, I kind of want to put it in the baby's room just because I feel like Emilio, you know, does have a part, you know, in her children's lives because she is definitely going to tell all of her babies about the man that he was and his selflessness and generosity and, you know, everything that he had to offer. I mean, he died in the line of duty, which <laughs> I'm talking about this as we're woohooing. I'm gonna <laughs> go to Ducky. Um, I know Ducky, I'm sorry, but he literally died saving a child from a fire. And I just think that's so commendable, you know, so heroic. And I just feel like he deserves to be a small part of the kiddos' lives, even if that does mean that he is just there in spirit. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna go ahead and let them get a good night's rest and I will see you guys in the morning. All right, Mama Llamas, good afternoon. So you might be wondering, well, one, why is this bush stinky? And that's because Layla just threw up in it because she is pregnant again. But you may be asking as well, why is Layla on this island? And that's a very good question. So this morning when she woke up next to Salim, she felt like she was mourning and says Layla is remembering all of the good times she had with her friend that passed away. And it kind of hit her, you know, she's had Emilio's tombstone for as long as she can remember. And she finally felt like she was ready to put it down 
and say goodbye. <laughs> I love how she just, she's just chilling. She changed her swimsuit. She's like, you know, if I'm gonna say goodbye to my one and only true love, I need to do it in style. But yeah, get up girl, this, this is serious. So she finally felt like she was ready. And of course she went to the bluffs in Windenburg because um, Windenburg is where the two of them met. So she already chose her spot for the tombstone and she's going to put it right here right in front of the water because they used to go to the bluffs a lot as teenagers and just mess around and stuff like that so this is a very sentimental place for her um but yeah i think she is finally ready to um not really let go but you know say a formal goodbye because she never felt like she could so let's go ahead and mourn emilio this man was truly her everything <laughs> And even one and a half years later, she still remembers him every day. And he will definitely live on in her children's lives. Salim, now is not the time. You no, know, I just, I feel so bad for her, but I know that she needs to go through this and, you know, move on. You know, the happiness with Emilio, she probably won't ever find again. And that's just something that she has to accept. You know, she will find happiness in other ways, especially with um, all of the children that she'll have, but you know, her and Emilio, their relationship is something you can't forget. And I know I was talking about her and Salim's chemistry, which is very true, but y'all should have seen her and Emilio. Freaking crazy. So, so in love, but I feel so bad. So I'm going to go ahead and stop her. I'm not going to do anything crazy like strengthen his connection or release the spirit. I'm just going to let him rest in peace. And I really wish we had, <laughs> I really wish we had some flowers to put on his grave, but Maybe we can do that. Maybe we can have a garden and bring them back another time. But I just feel like she feels comfortable here. You know, she feels his presence on her, thinking she is the most beautiful woman in the world. It is important to mourn and remember the good life moments had with a departed sim. So yeah, a disclaimer, it's not like she just got up and left Salim in her bed alone with the children. You know, she woke Salim up and was like, hey, I need to do this. I need to do it now. I can't wait any longer. You know, obviously the kids are being taken care of. But earlier, I did get a notification that it is almost the baby's time to age up. So I think we're going to go ahead and home and age him up to toddlers and you know what i am freaking ready to see what these babies are gonna look like because i feel like with layla and messiah's genetics holy crap they are going to be freaking beautiful all right guys layla is home and she finally feels somewhat at peace also oops i didn't mean to move this just gonna move the bowl right here for now and then we're gonna go ahead and age up the little babe Ooh, let's see okay so this is little miss georgia i believe and we're gonna go ahead and age her up. Yay! Okay, that is super weird though. She looks like she has really pale skin, which her and Messiah are not pale at all. So that's kind of weird, but that's totally fine. Oh, so she is angelic. Oh. Let's go ahead and age up Mr. Damien. Damien aged up too. <laughs> Okay, they're obviously not identical, but Damien is also angelic. Okay, so we got a couple of angelic babies. Super cute. He has very, very dark skin. I have no idea where that came from, but I guess it's just uh, the custom skins in my game that kind of messed it up, but it's totally fine. So before the video ends, I'm going to go ahead and do a makeover on the little babies and see just how cute they are. Oh my gosh, Georgia is adorable. Okay, so don't forget to leave a like and turn your post notifications on so you get notified whenever I post a new episode of the 100 baby challenge and as always don't forget to subscribe for more sims 4 videos bye y'all